left him there if he'd just not got in his way. Because <laughs> he's rubbish. Patently. Meanwhile, this is the going... lobby to be fair, and it's at the top end of the So. So we've got Nate, who's in first place in a Mustang. Oh, you got a bit squirrely there, didn't you, mate? Who right. you said had a four-second penalty. Yeah. <laughs> now, we were watching this earlier just to see if we could, how we could do this kind of stream. Yeah. And uh, when Nate gets overtaken, his only way of dealing with it seems to be flash your lights. Yeah. <laughs> and he spends the next ten laps flashing his lights yeah. at you, even when he's ten miles behind him. That's a great shot, that one, isn't it? That's a great it's shot. Not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Well, and you've got past Dennis! There. Yeah. Because Dennis is rubbish. He wasn't menacing anybody. I think he he's menacing his grip. Yeah, Look, another flash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to work, pal. So, I had to do a pit stop. And I want the mediums. I started on the mediums purely because I thought I'd be well at the back. And I wasn't at the back. I was kind of on each place. Yeah. But we're now leading from eight, which is not too bad. They are the softer tyre, they are the faster yeah. tyre at this point. And you've got, if you notice, the uh, Stia machine has got the fastest lap at the moment, but that may or may not change, says yeah. the guy that's already seen this race and knows it changes. Coming now. down into the last corner and yes, one you got big sausage. You don't want sausage time! That's a black adder joke if anyone wants it. Oh, well, someone called you hatch it's got the fastest lap by quite a way. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it, it's still got a long way to go, mate. Mm, that's true. I could, they get the, the top guys like Super GT has done a 119.8 the last time I checked. So there's really? an awful lot of time there. I should be getting in the 21s, if not even the 20s. If I really but you've like... got to remember, you're on medium tyres, and it's they're worn. I mean, look how quickly they're wearing. Was it? Did you say it was yeah. nine times tyre yeah, wear? Yeah, nine times tyre wear. If I go, it's huge. There is yes. the guy in second place. Nice this seems like a now, much harder car to drive than Mustang. Yeah, um, it, the GT3 Mustang. I've driven the GT3. I think I've got one, uh, and it, it's it's okay, but it is a bit. It's weird because yeah. you know my feelings on the Porsches normally that they're so tail happy it's ridiculous. And yeah. of course this is BOP so it's it's you know you can't fiddle with the suspension. Yeah. Um yeah. To, to sort of try and stabilise it. But I I've been driving, I've got this car for the EDTM safety car. And yeah. without changing anything on it and BOP, I find it really quite nice to drive. Don't tell anybody. And it, it, if so the Thousands of people that are going to be watching this don't tell anyone, especially don't tell. Oh, ho, ho, Dennis! Dennis has shown that his back end really doesn't like to go no. in a straight line, not when he's driving. That's what I was expecting it to be like for me, but it wasn't. Hugh, you like the Porsches traditionally anyway, don't you? You've yeah, well, kind of got I on with them. Kind of started on them to be fair when I got Gran Turismo Sport because the Porsche 911 was always quite a go to car. I mm. always remember Super GT saying it was a good good car to you know, to do a lot of group speed. So I used okay. to do it all the time. And once you get into a car, you kinda of get used to it. You know, so you, you try it was that and the Audi TT for a group four. You did so like that, the Audi DT, yeah. yeah. But you've always liked group four cars as well. So this is yeah. another thing you were saying earlier, that this Aye. is a GT three car, group three car. Yeah. Uh, and and you were surprised how well you did in it, yeah. considering yeah. that you Grand Turismo Sport, you never really got on with the Group 3 cars. Aye. Uh, farther down, you can see this action. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh, Nosey! Nosey's gone! There's some great shots here. I have to say, I'm quite impressed with the graphics of GT7. The way that there's so much more available, it just seems clearer. And you get sound, you get more dust and gravel. Yeah. It looks yeah. a lot better. That is a lot better when it's working. Uh, the glitching that's going on in lobbies and that kind of stuff is not so good. Yeah, that's a good to play. But of course, you've got a you've got a, a PlayStation Five now, haven't yes, you? So I do. you've got a bit more power to the pound. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas people like me that only have PlayStation Normal, well, it, it runs, it works perfectly well. Um, oh, I, I, I have. Wow. <laughs> 
That is um, a I, mean, lot. I, I wonder. I wonder. I think someone was saying on the weekend when with, with EDTM Pro race that I was commentating last Saturday that uh, if the lobbies run from a, a PlayStation 5, it runs with less glitching than if it's run off a PlayStation 4. Yeah. So yeah. you know. Just makes sense if you think about it. GT7 is a big program, though. It's a big program. Yeah. Yeah. I think they've packed it full of a lot of useless stuff, unfortunately. So, um, Hattrick is in the lead, he's off. Dennis is back in third place, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. And some of them right. are going to start doing their pit stops. Yeah, it's around this time they get their pit stops, because as you can see, the tyres are knicky nacky nude. Actually, I yeah. think <laughs> some of them have already done their pit stops. Yes, yeah. they did them earlier. Because just when I, we were watching it earlier, you had to go and do something while I was watching it. Ah. A bunch of people that were, the people that were in front of Dennis did their pit stops. Leo, he does one late because yeah. he does it after you. I got to say, I got a couple of clean laps here, but I thought I may as well just stay out because it was quite close behind. And mm. if I can get clean laps and just keep going, we'll see how we get on once we have to come in and do. Do me a favour, go back to Leo. I want to see what tyres he's on. Uh, he's on the hard now. He's on hard, so that explains why it stayed out longer. Because they do yeah. wear. Because the one thing I've noticed with Grand Turismo 7 is that the wear rate is appre appreciably, appreciably, appre hmm. Speaking <laughs> English? It's a lot realer. Uh, uh, you know, it's different, sorry, between the different tie tops. Yeah, yeah. So the softs do wear a lot quicker. But they also keep their grip. You know, it, it's like, I know there's been a few um, updates lately where they've tried to sort of fiddle with the tyre wear and stop it from being too, uh, oh, look at these, penalties everywhere. Yeah, I, Kashif has got a big penalty about half a second, but we've got a few four second penalties in the lobby. I wonder where uh, they're, they're getting the, pits, the four right? seconds from. So, I think Patrick goes in somebody. the pits. And I so thought is, here, I'm finished because everyone was going past me and I wasn't even in the pits it's been forever and ever and ever and you were miles ahead of them mate miles ahead of them I think it was about 11 seconds replay, ahead. it doesn't it doesn't show the, the differences so yeah I mean that's yeah. and you were faster than everybody else as well but nobody was catching you up um <clears throat> you you were you relatively quick here I mean you might okay you're comparing yourself to Super GT and all these people 119s um mm. I'm gonna have to see what, what I'm gonna have to do now is get in my car and have a go and and try it because I have this car. Well, yeah. I did it. On, I did it after Interlagos uh, on the weekend, and yeah. uh, I was very chuffed with myself. Still rubbish, but I, I managed to get um, <laughs> on well, soft yeah, tyres. I managed yeah. to get near-ish the medium race speed. <laughs> of the EDTM people. Well, that's yeah, all right. I, 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 I mean, it's only three or four three. seconds. That's not bad. Oh, just, it's it's going to get there. It's so rubbish. I'm all over the track. I mean, the people keep talking. About, it cracks me up when people sort of say, right, what you need to do is you need to take this line and you need to hit that apex. You need to be over there. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> most of the time I'm spending my time just staying on the track and <laughs> making sure I break. Placing the car on the, you know, at a specific place on the track. Yeah. Later. Ah, later. Well, I'm I'm making this just before I go out on my route on the bus, so I'm getting myself all psyched up. <laughs> so <laughs> so my, my passengers, when they get there nice and early, they'll look at their watch and think, my goodness, I'm five minutes early for my appointment. But, uh, well, I've been watching I've been watching dashcam pro, uh, uh, um, YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> worst drivers in Britain and I, I'm thinking of you thinking of you and what you're having to put up with on the road no you thought I was going to talk about you and your driving no I'm talking about what you have to deal with being on the road with all these utter utter morons because I found out that they changed the highway code earlier this year I was watching a video to go the Black Belt Barristers it's got an interesting channel oh yeah and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he, he, he's going through this change to the wording of the highway code which i think is nuts one of the things that winds me up is when i come to cross the road 
and then someone will stop and wave me across. Now, you might think, oh, Andrew, you've been a bit unfair. They're being nice to you. Yeah, they're being nice to you. But if they just drove past, we'd Maybe both get there quicker. Yeah, because then yeah. I wouldn't be wondering what the hell's going on with this person. I wouldn't think, be thinking I've got to skip across the road. When I had my, before I had the procedure, the problems where I couldn't walk fast or run. Yeah. You know what I mean? But what I didn't know is that they've changed the highway code. So now, if someone's waiting to cross, a car has to stop. And it doesn't matter where they are. Really? Yes. Goodness, I it's know that. absolutely. I mean, go on. Look up Black Belt Barrister, and he explains it. But it, it, the wording is that if that if someone's in the road, obviously you've got to give way to them because you'll kill them if you run them over. That's yeah. obvious. You know, we all know that. And it's always been the case if someone's crossing a road at a junction, you stop. But now, if someone's waiting to cross, and it doesn't have to be a, a, a crossing point or anything like that, you have to stop them. So yeah, I if think you're nobody will know about that. Well, I didn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm the kind of person that would keep up to date with that kind of stuff if I was still driving. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is that the problem with this is that let's say you're on a mini roundabout and you're coming off a mini roundabout and someone's waiting, you've got to stop. You're blocking the whole road. Yeah. And then, yeah, of course, like you crazy. say, a bunch of people don't know it's there. Yeah. And they get out and punch, punch your lights out because you're like, <laughs> you know, and that's the problem. Whereas before it was obvious, you know, the Green Cross Code, wait until cars go past. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then that was it. Because the, the problem yet. is, the problem is, and you're doing very well here, with, on your hard tyres, by the way, and yeah. you're in the lead, and you're miles ahead of everybody. But the problem is, it's very simple. If you get it wrong, and you step out into the road with a car coming, assuming that they're going to stop, and you get it wrong, you're dead. No. Because yeah. you get hit by two tons of car. <laughs> so the if one you got it wrong before, all that happens is a car goes past. Yeah. See what I'm saying? It's consequences. Uh, yeah. You know, you can make all the rules in the world, but it's like, you know, we can rule that... Oh, I'm a... What? Not like an NSX, was it? It was an NSX, yeah. Yeah, I don't like them. I want to see where all the... See the other battles that are going through the field. That's it. Oh, look at that, an R8. Yeah, yeah, there's an R8. Anyway, that's my little rant. It was a good way. I was, I was just thinking, I'm going to definitely do more of these later on in the week. And I'm sure those who are watching can put in their views um, and let, let us know what you think. Um, and the good news is, it looks like, hopefully, I might be able to do more interviews and more streams as we as we get on, as I might be changing company. We'll see how we get on. Um, and that might give me a few more hours to uh, do streams and interviews. So I'm looking forward to oh, that. Oh, you bust, you bust things so that you, your hours yeah. are a little bit more reasonable. Yeah, yeah, I've just not had any <laughs> time in the last nine months. No, it's been yeah. nuts, you know. Absolutely yeah. insane. And now that I've got the PS5, it's great to stream from. And I think this must be the first one, the first commentary thing we've done together for about ages. a year. Yeah, yeah, certainly in the last time. year at, at least. I, I, I no, it's good to get it's back been, into it. It's nice to have someone to commentate with that knows what they're doing. Yeah. So I don't. We're the two sane commentators, are we? <laughs> uh, I don't know about sane. You <laughs> might be. <laughs> but, uh, now that's the thing. So we've got two laps to go. The Dream yeah. Cutter's back in 7th place. Like uh, I like that uh, library. That is a good one. It's good, mate, yeah. Dream Crusher, yeah. It's not yeah. crushed many people's dreams today. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a nice library as well. That's quite a good one. Oh, what is that? Is that the Mazda? It sounds like that one of those Mazdas. Don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a Mazda. Squeak. Is that like a, a, a Vantel yeah. engine then? Yeah, it's a Vantel. Vantel. No talk. 
for the revs, the crazy revs. To change uh, it to the bonnet, the no, the, the bumper cam. That's the one. No, no, yeah. you've gone past. Go back. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, keep going. And again. And again. And again. And again. Stop. Yep, yeah, ten thousand RPM. Yeah. Sounds like an old-fashioned F1 car, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like they were the best. They were the best by far and away. Those V10s, oh my goodness. They were very special. <clears throat> yeah, I'm I not a myself. great fan of super high, super duper high revving, yeah. but about between 10 and 15,000 RPM does sound pretty good. Aye. I remember when I was at that Hockenheim Grand Prix that I was at with the V10s. My yeah. favourite sounding cars were the Formula 3000 motors. Ah, they, they just had nice they were, Yeah, they were pretty good. Because they didn't rev too high and they had a, a bit of a bass note as well as the scream. Yeah. yeah. Right. I suppose it's a bit like old Gordon Murray and his Cosworth V12 that he's got now. That sounds yeah. special. That's uh, special, that is. Yeah, yeah. 12,100 RPM. Right. Not bad, eh? So what do you think of my, of my return to GTC racing? Uh, oh, successful. I've had I mean, 15 attempts at GT7 multiplayer so far. And this is the first one I've actually done. I did have a, I had a second place. But other than that, I've always gone, I've always started higher and then ended up down the grid. But was uh, this because you did your normal thing where you get really excited? Yeah, I think also I didn't have much time when I was playing the games. I was just literally right. jumping on and having a go and I didn't really get much practice. No I, didn't practice. Really get, I don't think I really had the feel for the game at that point. It took me a wee while to really get into it, especially on on the PS5 too. It's just brand new. Know, Whoa! Look Plus, at that, it's man. changed so much. So you, you managed yeah. to, over, uh, to, to lap someone as well? Yep. Yeah. Well, that was the thing, I ended up winning by 21 and a half seconds. And you were worried about the pit stop. Yeah. Well, I genuinely thought, oh no, why is it so slow? There, there he is, is. for the win! Finally won something. Finally won something. Oh, and he takes smashed yeah, into the wall as he goes over Because it takes yeah. across, it, well, it, took the, it took the wheel off me. Oh, oh of it, course, it, yes. It takes over. Computer. And it, it yeah, yeah, the computer couldn't drive right. And that was it. This is, in my commentary, uh, what we know uh, know as the Phil block. Yeah. Okay, because uh, <laughs> Phil the hooligan, uh, on two races, had something they had to go and deal with, so he pressed pressed the button for it to do self drive. Yeah. And in in, a, in an endurance plebs charity race. Yeah. <laughs> this thing. Oh my goodness. This 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 computer controlled car. It, it kind of cruised around at about two thirds racing speed. Yeah. Until someone tried to go past where it would randomly smash into them. <laughs> it was just awful. That's the computer funny, managed to crash. It was, so we called it the rolling fill block. Because it was <laughs> Phil's car, but it was the computer doing it. And yeah. it was just like a roadblock. It was, it was death. It was like, do you remember back in the in the late 90s, early 2000s, they had those Japanese drivers always at the back? Oh, yeah. Formula yeah. One. yeah. You know, like the Sinya Nakano and all this kind of stuff. And, and their job seemed to be, when the leaders were lapping them, <laughs> to smash into them and take them off. Yeah. <laughs> Similar kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I know that was something. Well, of course, we've got the American Grand Prix, the US Grand Prix at Texas this weekend. Oh, is it? So, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so let's see how that That's always goes. a bit of a laugh. Yeah, and normally quite a close one. I don't like one. these new cars. I don't like them at all. They're boring. Yeah, the racing's not been as good. I think, obviously, Max has had a clear advantage with his car this year. So, uh, to be fair, I thought Lewis uh, had incredible consistency up until a few races ago. Um, you know, he was finishing second and third, you know, quite a lot, which was pretty good. Um, mm. Well, they've the, managed to get a, the, sort out a few things with the car, haven't they? Yeah, so, but I hope, I hope it can be closer next year. I really hope they can get back 
and get a proper proper uh, of it. See, yeah. people get going. Oh, you know, it's been fantastic racing. Look at all this overtaking, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the last there's overtaking year was and there's racing, and they're not the yeah, same yeah. things. Last year was better because you had some really good. I mean, it literally was yeah, one man. person won one race, and then Max would win the other. And it was just one to the other to the other, and it was really and something. On track, on, on I mean, true on track action. I'm not. We're not yeah. talking about the fakery, the fake action that happens. You know, yeah, but yeah. They're, 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 it's like people like uh, randomization of everything because it yeah. creates jeopardy, and it's like well, it's the same jeopardy you get in a film. Yeah, that, that yeah. you know's in the script, and you know they're doing it because of the formula that you knew jeopardy. Aye, aye. Or, or at the end of a quiz show. You know, when they go, and the answer is... And ten minutes later, when you've fallen asleep or you've chucked something through the television because you're screaming at it, we'll just say it! <laughs> Number three! <sighs> that's not jeopardy. That's just irritating. And that's what yeah. Formula One's doing. Yeah. Yeah. But then, like you say, last year, <laughs> it's like at the British Grand Prix. Yeah. You just had no idea what was going to happen because yeah. you knew... Everyone was going to try and kill each other. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, uh -huh. Alonso is carving past everyone <laughs> on lap one uh -huh. because he's just amazing at that kind of stuff. And it, all of it was just astonishing driving. Yeah. The yeah. skill, you know, the skill. And they had the cars where they could do that kind of stuff. Whereas yeah. now... Yeah, cars... it's gone a bit more dominant again, isn't it? But uh, maybe next year it'll... Because I don't, I don't think Mercedes are far away. And then I think there's, you know, Ferrari. I always wonder at them because I kind of think they have a good oh car, goodness. but they just make terrible decisions. <laughs> so, I mean, totally. <laughs> oh, so, uh, well, this is the thing that Ross Braun brought to the team, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. They, sense. Right uh, now, at the moment, the slickest in terms of pit stops and all that kind of stuff is Red Bull, and they've always yeah. been good. They have yeah. always been completely obsessive about that. Well, before yeah. them, it was Ferrari under Ross Braun. Yeah, yeah. But he brought that to the team. He brought yeah. a sort of a unity to the team in yeah. the way he went about everything he did, including building good relationships with the engine division, which is like yeah. a separate building. Yeah. He wasn't... Yeah. There, there, was the, there was Jean Todd in charge of everything. There was this guy whose name I can't remember who was in charge of the engine side, and then at the same level was Ross Braun. Yeah. So he wasn't actually the top guy. But what he did is he made, put a lot of effort into building... There'd always been kind of like banging heads within the team. Uh -huh. These two positions, which is part of the problem over the years. Yeah. He put a lot of effort into building relationships with these guys so that they could work together. And then, of course, he was obsessive about getting everything as slick as possible. And they didn't make mistakes. I mean, it was incredible what they managed to do with Schumacher and the tactics... Yeah. Back in the day, yeah, and now Ferrari's back to being like, "Hey, we, we need we need the tires. Uh, how many tires? I don't know. Uh, I'm going French. I've gone from Italian to French. Sorry. Here's another one for you. Three. We need three tires. No, these are four. What do you think? Oh, this? super formula. I love this. This is on the um, one of the license tests to get your super license. Oh, and okay. I actually got a really good time. I think I was into the 4.9. Do you want to bring up... Uh, this is the thing we hate about GT7. If the idiots are listening, you have to do this every time. Yeah, I don't You know. can't set it to just do it. It's just stupid. Wow. So this is you driving? Yep. That was very accurate there. You like these high downforce cars. Oh, it's I really love weird this. How, how, how... You say you don't... You, you, you didn't get on so well in GT... Uh, GTS at least, you yeah. didn't get on so well with the Group 3 cars, but you, you always liked the Group 4 cars, and yet you get into this kind of thing, and look at you, you're very accurate. And look at the time when it got, it was great fun, it just seems to stick. I do, I do like the Super, I was surprised how much I liked this, oh, you and your oh, sausage. Sausage time! Well, the, I thought I'd done a really good time, and it's like a 104, I think. Oh, no, I've done one that I did a 104.9, I think, but um, the top time is like a 101 point something or something, something ridiculous, but I don't know how they do it any quicker than that. But that's well, I don't I know that. So, yeah, I don't know how well, they would have done that any quicker, <clears> but... Um, 
Should I go to that one? No, I think it was the other one. Oh yeah, that was the Watkins Glen as well. Did the... Uh, see if I can... So will you be wanting this to be on your stream as well, by the way? Um, yeah, it's on me as well. Okie dokie, I'll just remember, I've got a reminding you. You get, you get um, an hour. Yeah. Oh, this car, I've got this car and it's a monster. Yeah, it's it's a monster. And I've got the manual gearbox for it. So I, 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 I drive this around here, in fact. In fact, I did this the other day. And it's just 700 odd horsepower. Yeah. With a clutch and a manual gearbox. And it's got seven gears. So I've, of course, got a six speed shifter. Not so I've had to set up. Well, I've had to set up a couple of buttons on my uh, steering wheel as the gear shifter so I can go into seven. Aye, right. okay. With the manual gearbox. So it's like I'm, I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I have to press a button to go to seven. It's like it's like having an old fashioned overdrive. You press a button. Yeah. You get, <laughs> you get seven. Like, get seven. Because what I've done is I've set it up now, because I've got the shifter, I use the shifter as a, sem a semi-automatic. Yeah. Or uh, full manual. And that means I can use the paddles as um, the handbrake for if I'm ever doing any off-road stuff, the rallying stuff. Yeah. Got a fantastic sound on this engine. I my, I eventually managed to do a lap time. I got, I think, a 114.2. Oh wow! Which wasn't too bad. I just managed to beat Richie in Glasgow. We were always Glasgow, and I are always competing. And you normally beat me on more times, but okay. we were very, very close. That uh, so if Glasgow's watching right to the end. He'll see this. That's uh, pretty fast as well, isn't he? Oh and, yeah, he's um, good. He's good. Like Richie's good also a lot. You know, yeah, it's, it's Richie funny because Rich, Richie down, Richie down plays how quick he is, but he is actually quite pretty competitive yeah. in terms of times. I mean, he's also competitive in terms of driving, but you know, yeah. a competitive person, but <laughs> um, not not sort of like stupidly competitive, <laughs> like bash into you, take you out. But um, he is quick, you know, quick. He's not deck levels of quickness because deck is just. Uh. <laughs> I'll put it this way, into Lagos, I, I don't know what happened in the previous race where deck wasn't anywhere. Uh, it might have been, I think it was in the wet or just a track he really hates, I don't know. But generally speaking, he's off into the distance at the front and the guys he's racing, these mad Finnish people are fast. Yeah. You know? So he was going a second a lap on the same tyres faster than anybody else on the track. Wow. <laughs> A second of that. <laughs> and yeah, that's a lot. So he, he got pole position. <laughs> he got pole position. Everybody else is doing this thing because the, the, the fuel usage is on during the qualifying practice bit as well. So most people, they'll do a few laps to burn off fuel, and then in the last five minutes or so, they come in, get fresh tyres, they've got low fuel, off they go. He didn't bother with any of that, he just kept going faster and faster and faster and faster and he obliterated everybody on half warm yeah. tyres. <laughs> like, okay, fair enough. Ridiculous. So this one could get me a reason, if I can get around here alright. Should be, this should be a reasonable one. Ah. We were talking about track limits uh, uh, earlier and these big orange things, it looks like it only gives you penalties if you, you your inside tyres cross over the inside of the big orange uh, curbs. Yeah. So it's not the line, it's the whole curb. Yeah. So that yeah. It, you can use so much more track. I was watching, who was it? Was it Key 28 or? Oh, Key 25, yeah. Yeah, 25. Mm. Going around there. Yeah, and it, 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 in in that car, in fact. All right, that's quite good. Well, I think on that note, we will call it. We will call it a day.
Okie dokie. Uh, and before you go anywhere else, I suggest, Mr. Hattrick, you press the save video button. So you've got your options button. Um, Not options, the other one, was it the share button? Is it the call? Uh, no, 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 the share, share button on your controller. Yep, yeah. alright. Save me some gameplay. Thank you.